Today we dive inside London's most dangerous prison, housing everyone from convicted terrorists all the way to the founder of WikiLeaks, and look at some of the most high-profile lawbreakers in the UK. Welcome to the top 10 most dangerous prisoners housed at Welcome to the top 10 most dangerous prisoners housed at HMP Belmarsh Prison. If you're enjoying the prison content, then please smash a like on the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button as we have many more prison videos coming every single week. And hit the subscribe button so you never miss another video. And yes, we've got some top 50 videos coming through November and December, so get ready. Number 10, Julian Assange. Described by the United States government as one of the most dangerous individuals on the World Wide Web, some people may disagree that Julian Assange deserves that title. If you agree, comment below and let me know your thoughts. Currently housed at Belmarsh, Assange is awaiting a decision on whether he will be extradited to the United States. This decision has been going on for years, and many have called for his release after he was removed from the Ecuadorian embassy. Assange once ran WikiLeaks, a website that published freedom of speech documentation and revealed government secrets that were originally not in the public domain. Making many enemies along the way, Assange was sought in a sexual assault assault case that was later dropped. After being dragged from the embassy where he had claimed political asylum, he was remanded into custody and moved to Belmarsh Prison. Many have called for Assange to be released on compassionate grounds due to his poor health. Number 9. Michael Adebalajo One of two people convicted in the brutal murder of Lee Rigby, Adebalajo attacked the military drummer as he left a barracks in London. Caught on camera by several people as the attack happened on a busy London street, he waved the knife at passers-by and claimed it was a racial attack. Adebalajo is currently considered to be one of Britain's most dangerous prisoners after a spate of attacks in prison and the constant spreading of religious extremism in Belmarsh. Adebalajo was handed a whole life tariff for the murder in 2013 and only began to admit regret for the murder in 2018. He is reported to have looked at the press in court and kissed the Quran while being escorted to prison. He has suffered a number of attacks in prison and was banned from attending yoga classes in prison due to his extremism threat. Number 8. Ali Harbi Ali Responsible for attacking and killing British Member of Parliament Sir David Ames, Ali had used a false address to deceive the MP staff that he lived in the local area. Armed with a large kitchen knife, Ali made the journey from London to Leon Sea and attacked the MP in what became known as the worst terrorist attack of 2022. Motivated by religious and ideological beliefs, Ali then threatened to attack anyone who came to the aid of the man and threatened to attack anyone trying to intervene. When police arrived, Ali rushed towards them in an attempt to be shot and killed, with police later concluding that he had planned to attack other members of parliament. Due to the horrific nature of the crime the person attacked and the considerable planning that went into the attack, Ali received a whole life order and will never be released. Number 7. Hashem Abidi Convicted of helping to prepare a terrorist attack committed by his brother in 2017, Hashem Abidi helped Salaman Abidi plan an attack on Manchester Arena during an Ariana Grande concert that killed 22 people. Sentenced to a minimum of 55 years in prison, Abidi's brother was said to have fled Libya in 1991 after their father worked for the security forces of deceased Libyan dictator Muammar Gaddafi. Abidi's radicalization was said to be partly attributed to the behavior among family and friends, and it's reported that he had become radicalized in 2015. He met with an individual once suspected of being an Al-Qaeda fundraiser in Libya while on a trip to Germany in 2016, and built the detonated tubes for his brother's explosives. Police found Abidi's fingerprints on materials in the Manchester apartment where the brothers had assembled the bomb. He is not due for parole until at least 2075, when he will be 78 years old. Number 6. Paul Ballard Starting off a promising career in English television 
singer and stage acting, Ballard was best known by his nickname Des as a co-presenter alongside Fern Cotton on Dig It, a popular children's TV programme. He disappeared from the public eye for almost 21 years, before it was revealed he had been jailed for nine years for causing the deaths of two people for dangerous driving. This, however, is not the end of the story and Ballard, who had already been convicted of the driving offence, was further accused of rape, attempted rape, assault, criminal damage and making threats to kill. Found guilty on all counts, he will likely spend the best part of 19 years in prison due to the sentences running consecutively. Did you know that inmates held at Belmarsh are kept under constant surveillance and the prison even contains another prison within it named the HSU or High Security Unit with 48 single cells holding only the most dangerous inmates of all. Number 5. David Copeland A former member of two political groups, the British National Party and the National Socialist Movement, David Copeland became known as the London Nail Bomber. His attacks left three people dead and over 140 people injured after the devices were filled with nails and exploded at three pubs across London. Aiming in the bombings mainly at the black Bengali and LGBT communities of London, Copeland was convicted of murder and given six life sentences. Diagnosed by five psychiatrists as having paranoid schizophrenia and by one as having a personality disorder, he was later moved to Broadmoor High Security Hospital. Another three years was added to this after he attacked an inmate in Belmarsh, meaning he will not be due for release until 2052, when he will be 76 years old. It is currently unclear which prison Copeland is serving his sentence at. Number 4. Delroy Grant Jamaican-born British convicted serial rapist Grant carried out a series of offences of burglary, rape and sexual assault between October 1992 and May 2009 in the south east of London. Known as the Minstead Rapist and the Night Stalker, Grant is thought to have been active since 1990 and targeted primarily elderly women who lived alone. Before he was caught, Grant was careful never to leave a fingerprint at the scene of a crime, with police suspecting he was forensically aware. Suspected of over 100 offences from 1990 to 2009, a dedicated police team investigated the crimes at Lewisham Police Station and this was named Operation Minstead. Grant was found guilty of all 22 offences and was given four life sentences in order to serve a minimum of 27 years in prison. Number 3. Daniel Hussein Said to have drawn up a contract in his own blood with a demon to sacrifice women in return for winning the lottery, Daniel Hussein Hussein is, to say the least, one disturbing individual. On the 6th of June 2020, he attacked two sisters, Bieber Henry and Nicole Smallman, who were visiting Friend Country Park in Wembley for a small party to celebrate a birthday. Searches on Hussein's computer found he had been researching far-right extremism, and the note revealed the murders were in exchange for the demon winning the Mega Millions super jackpot. Convicted in July of murdering both girls in 2020, he was given two concurrent 35-year jail sentences. Number 2. Stephen Port One of the most dangerous people not only to have been held inside Belmarsh, but also held in the UK overall, whole lifer Port is now a convicted serial killer and serial rapist. Nicknamed the Grinder Killer, Port was convicted of the murder of four young men and numerous attacks on other men after meeting them using social networks and dating or hookup apps. He attempted to appeal the sentence in 2018, but this was rejected by the Court of Appeal. Several other men who dated Port described his odd behaviour before breaking up with him. And the Channel 4 documentary Surviving a Serial Killer covers Stephen Port's crimes in detail, and in 2017, an inquiry took place to investigate police failings in the case. Number 1. Kairi Sadala Violent terrorist Sadala travelled to the United Kingdom in 2012 after fleeing war-torn Libya lying on his asylum papers and claiming he had not been involved in any fighting. Granted asylum in 2012 for five years, he was convicted of 15 crimes between 2015 and 2019, with eight being extremely violent crimes. Having been released from prison, he was unable to be deported due to human rights breaches and was allowed to remain in Reading. Shortly 
night before 7pm on the 20th of June 2020, Sadala attacked two groups of people socialising in Forbury Gardens using an 8-inch kitchen knife. Sadala was then chased, tackled and pinned to the ground by police officers approximately five minutes after the first 999 call was made. He was arrested initially on suspicion of murder and later re-arrested while in custody under Section 41 of the Terrorism Act before being charged with the murder of three people. Sadala admitted three charges of murder and three of attempted murder and in court was given a whole life order. Thanks for checking out the top 10 most dangerous prisoners ever held at HMP Belmarsh Prison. If you enjoyed the content and want me to cover more dangerous individuals in prisons around the world, make sure to hit the like button, comment down below if you think I missed anybody in particular and subscribe with the bell icon to never miss a new video.